Hey, kid, today's story sounds like a rock band rolling thunder. Yeah! 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 Rolling thunder. It's not just the name of of what would be an amazing rock band, but it is the name of the most amazing Memorial Day ritual. Tell me more, yeah, I'm all ears. Okay, so imagine miles of motorcycle riders. I totally am picturing it. Imagine more than a million veterans. I can totally see that. And then all their supporters and their friends and their family out there cheering them on. This sounds so exciting. I can't wait. Is that where we're going? That's where we're going. So buckle up. We're going to Rolling Thunder. Yeah. Yes. Rolling Thunder Ride for Freedom. This is a real thing. And we are going there because that's what we do. We go places so that way you know what's out there and then maybe one day you can go witness it in person. Rolling Thunder Freedom Ride. Today we'll be at Grandpa's side. Look at this beautiful scenery. And you can hear the train pulling up to the station. People are waving. People are saying hello. People are saying goodbye. Early morning, leaving home. Gleaming wheels and polished chrome. Grandpa rides for Joe and Tom, friends he lost in Vietnam. And you see that right there? Grandma kissing Grandpa. And you can tell by the way that she's kissing him tight on the cheek that she really loves him. And Grandpa, that means that he is a Vietnam War veteran and he lost friends, so he's writing to honor them. Clicking, clacking, railroad track. Our trip is for Uncle Zach, flying airplanes far away. His picture rides with me today. Through my window, buildings, towns, meadows rich with greens and browns. So, so, there, 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 their Uncle Jack is flying airplanes far away right now. Yeah, they're apparently also joining the Ride for Freedom to honor their current military member. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, okay, keep going. I like this train right too. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Now our journey's almost done. Obelisk and setting sun. And if you're wondering what an obelisk is, there's a little peek through the haze and the window right there. And in case you're wondering, storyteller, what's an obelisk? Yeah, storyteller, what's an obelisk? I really don't know. It is that, the Washington Monument, which means we are in Washington, D.C. Home of the president. And where the Freedom Ride ends. That is where we have the big commemoration. Oh, that's super cool. So we're in Washington, D.C.? Yes, we are in the National Mall. Wait a minute. A mall? Is that like where Abuela Bear buys her groceries? No, not that kind of a mall. The National Mall is this big, beautiful park, and it's green, and it's lush, and it's surrounded by monuments and fascinating museums and really cool places like the Capitol. Oh, I'm gonna be there one day. And the obelisk. That's the Washington Monument. I totally knew that. You just learned that. That's cool. Pentagon and city lights. Finally, our camping sites. Oh, they camp? Yep, they totally do. It's like a total overnight thing. Oh, this is so fun. Grandpa's friends with arms of steel greet us and prepare a meal. Arms of steel. These are strong people. Potomac River, dark and deep. Whispered memories, friendship, sleep. That's right, there they are, camping out together, reuniting. They haven't seen each other in a while. They get to reconnect. They get to show their grandkids about their friendships and their past and their history. Way too early, morning light blooms from pink to yellow bright. And the sun is rising over Washington, D.C., over the National Mall. Today's the day. Lines of bikes are miles long, shining half a million strong, rumbling, grumbling, engines roar, peace signs, high fives, spirits soar. Listen to that rumble. 
motors growling, roaring near, crowds that cry and wave and cheer, <sighs> raising flags of white and black for those who never made it back. Um, can I ask you a question? Absolutely, Red Bear. Um, why are the flags white and black? Because I know that the flag is red, white, and blue. You just showed it to me. Yes, that is true. But there is a black and white flag for POWs and MIAs. POW, like POW? Yes, it stands for Prisoners of War, and the MIA stands for Missing in Action. Oh, so these are the military people who never came back? Yes, so we are honoring the ones who never came back, the ones who made the ultimate sacrifice. Whoa, that's super important to remember them. I like that. Yep, why do you too? That's why the Memorial Day holiday exists, so that we remember, because that is the ultimate honor. Forgetting, that's bad. You never want to forget people who do so many important things for you. For soldiers lost in other days, POWs, MIAs, for soldiers serving still today, missing families far away, rolling, slowing to a crawl, stopping, there it is, the wall. This right here, they just call it the wall. It is the Vietnam War Memorial. Polished marble, stark and bare, touch a name and say a prayer. This place is beautiful. This place is sad. All the names on this wall, all these names that go on and on and on are the names of people who died serving in the Vietnam War. And you see there, that kid touching the wall, it could be a relative, it could be a complete stranger, but you're coming to honor them and that by visiting them and by touching a name, saying a prayer, by saying their names is how we honor them. Leave a single flower, kneel, names in charcoal, cry and heal. See what this kid is doing right here? He is with a crayon drawing over the name so that way he has the name of one of the veterans. It could be somebody that they lost in their family, or it could just be anyone. You're just there to honor them. It could be Joe Castro. It could be Daryl Hamlin. It could be Michael D. Lane. It could be George McCullen. The names go on and on. Memories, speeches, quiet crowd, bugle song, and heads are bowed. Setting sun and rising moon, whispered wishes, come home soon. Bound by war, forever tied. One last look, it's time to ride. It's time to go back home. But this phrase right here, bound by war, means that that war that they fought together, these veterans, that ties them together forever. Rising smoke and glowing ember, ride for freedom, ride, remember. Look at that beautiful night sky. Oh, so we ride to remember. Yes, because that is an important way of honoring. It costs us nothing but time and a moment of silence to remember their names and remember what they did to fight for our country and protect us. Exactly, Green Bear. Wow, this is beautiful. Can we go one day to Rolling Thunder and ride for freedom? Yes, but I probably won't ride the motorcycle. Bummer, but I have the sunglasses just in case you change your mind. <laughs> well, you never know. I could decide to do that. Kid, happy Memorial Day. Remember to honor the sacrifices of those who have done great things to protect our country and continue to protect our country every single day. Happy Memorial Day. Ah!